what's up, guys? Coming in. You got a kill Badoo here. How are you guys doing? Welcome to my house in Atlanta, Georgia. So it's the first thing as you walk in. God, this is where it all started. Got the MLB debut, April 4th, 2021. As you guys know, that was when I hit the first pitch home run a lot. And you know, as you're gonna see as we walk through, you're gonna see my mother, the crazy reaction. She pushed my dad over. Come over to your living room space over here. I have a really nice pool table here, custom made. And if you guys are really big, avid pool players, let me know and we'll play and I'll beat anybody. All right, I'm willing to put my money on that. So we'll come over to the kitchen area a little bit. And this is the kitchen area. Got the white countertops gas stove and everything. And Mama Duke's right here. Akila, huh? She was the one that, that pushed my, my dad after I hit that, uh, that, uh, that home run first pitch. Everyone talks about that moment. It was kind of crazy. Family's important to me, so being close to my mother, my brothers and my dad was definitely something that I considered. And uh, I was glad that I had the help of my mom and my parents to, to find a place in Smyrna that was close to where I trained and uh, where I kind of do like my everyday life thing. So it's definitely big for me to be here in Georgia, stay close with family. So I'm like his project manager, I'm his PR, I'm his like everything in some kind of way. I'm still the mom, but, and still trying to keep some balance for him. Like I want him to be involved because it's such a great experience, but I also want him to like take the lead on it. So he, so truthfully he found the house, but he found a house and then he found a couple other houses. So the goal for me, my assignment was to do the legwork, run around and do all the house check-in. So I did that and then I brought it down to three homes. But this particular home, when he saw it, he was like, mom, no matter what, I think I want this house. Work our way upstairs. Now I'm gonna show you guys a secret room. This is the shoe room. I'm a huge, huge sneakerhead. And I love my shoes. Favorite pair of shoes, I would probably have to say, ah, oh, that's tricky. Uh, ones are definitely my favorite, so I'll probably say, probably the UNC ones that people know. I wore these for the Lions. These are actually one of my favorites too, Travis Scott. Got the Travis Scott joints right here, sixes. These are, these are crazy material and this is, is wild. And then, shout out to University of Michigan. I had to get a pair of the low top SBs, the Michigan joints. I haven't pulled these out yet. So we're actually, I moved in in October and we're, this is the, currently the master bedroom, which is still being remodeling. I'm still in the process of doing that. For anyone like remodeling the house, do not stay in it while they're remodeling the house. I told him, I said, you should stay home while they um, renovate the house because it's gonna be dusty, it's gonna be too much. And he was like, no, I'm gonna stay here. So he was like sleeping on air mattress, like downstairs, upstairs, all through the house. And it was crazy. So ideally I will have my living space on this side right here. And then I'll have my TV up here, kind of seeing everything, kind of relaxing. So that's kind of like my whole deal. And then my bathroom, which I'm probably gonna spend a lot of time in. Love this area right here. This is where I did a lot of the work. So if you can come in here, you see, I have a towel everywhere, ceramic all around the whole bedroom. Yeah, pretty cool. This is this is the casa. Today we are currently at the Painted Pens, and as you see right next to me, I got my buddies from back home. So left of me, I got Xavion Curry that plays for the Indians organization. I played with him since I was like. I would say 10 years old. And then to the right of me, I got Israel Zachary, who I also played travel ball with since I was eight, nine, 10. And then you got Will, Willie Beeman, Will Benson, over there to the right. He's currently with the Indians organization as well. And those two guys were teammates uh, when we were young and I played against them all the time. I used to tear them up back in the day, but we ain't gonna talk about that. We'll talk about that later. But yeah, so the first round we got free for all. And then the second round, we're gonna have a little friendly competition, two on two. I got me and Iz versus Zay and Will and let me know who y'all think gonna win. No, right, start no. it off. Come on, yeah. Yeah. Huh? First pitch. First pitch of the day, baby. What am I gonna yeah, do, huh? First pitch. First pitch, what am I gonna do, huh? Yeah, oh, okay. search. Oh. Oh. 
No look. Hey, Steph Curry, no look. No look. Feet for three. Down one. You gotta come back. Yes, eh? Get this guy really get him off his game. We gotta get him off his game. Can you handle the pressure though? Can you handle the pressure? Yes, sir. No, he can't. Yes, sir. He can't handle the pressure. I ain't good. He better hit it saying that too. Come on. Come on. Come on. Take notes. All right, that's Take enough. notes. Yes, sir, Steve. That's game. <laughs> that's game. Count it. Hurt. Who's next? I'm hurt. You got game two. <laughs> you got to come back. Oh, dude. Let's not worry about it. This is for Detroit. This is for Detroit. Oh my gosh! I still love you guys. I'm gonna get a spear. Spear is still good. Spear is still good. That's not gonna cut it! That's right. Come on, come on, come on. That's big! That's big! That's big! That's big. Oh, got her, buddy. Yes! Swing and a miss! Those are my guys, man. We, we hang out, and that's literally every day. We're really playing games, and we're being competitive, as always. So the first game, they took the W. Congratulations. But the second game, me and Israel Zachary brought down the house. We won the second game. So we're going for game three right now. Championship game. Championship game. I don't think you can handle the pressure, sir. I don't think you can handle the pressure! It's an intense match going on. I'll pick you up, I got you. I'll pick you up, I'll pick you up. Come on. Please, please. See you next year. That's it. Please. I'm going to walk it off. Take my french fry. Thank you, fellas. Come again later. Eddie Dimas, performance specialist, P3 Atlanta. The minute I kill stepped into the building, we took him through a battery of assessments to kind of see his physical qualities. Uh, today was one of his trunk days. So during the trunk session, right, working on a lot of anti-rotation, anti-extension movements, so just building up a robust trunk system. So this is definitely my first season, off season here. So I've been coming here for the past two weeks and it's been really good. Been tailored, like I said before, they tailor the workouts to my body and I kind of work on the stuff that I need to work on, like mobility and hip flexes and stuff like that. got to know each other through GBSA. It's a group in Georgia that does travel ball and they go to different tournaments and whatnot. When GBSA started, I was actually just getting drafted. So Akil was introduced to it. When I came back from my first year, I was introduced to a lot of guys on the old team. He was one of them. Got to see him play, you know, definitely saw a lot of potential with him at a very young age as well. Uh, and that's kind of how our relationship grew. We worked out together a lot, hit together a lot, communicated a lot, hung out. So it's been great knowing him. From his entrance exam, um, Akil demonstrated um, pretty exceptional numbers on the performance side. Uh, both his lateral skaters show that he was above average. Uh, one of his biggest needs, though, is hip mobility stuff. He's expressed that from the beginning, but just building up on that, uh, we evaluate about every three to four months during the off season. Uh, as guys coming out the building, we'll track some of these movements and just see how he's progressing. Yeah, I feel like my main goal is mostly just being explosive and being flexible. Because if you're explosive, then you're able to generate a lot of power and speed. So that's like the mostly what, what I work on in the off season. These guys are all, we all have one goal to get the work in, but we also have fun and we enjoy it. So we realize that we're working out and we have a job at hand, but we also still have fun and, and crack around and joke around. I saw the, the energy in the room was, was, was pretty, pretty noticeable. So uh, 
Akil brings a lot of that as well. Uh, he's pretty good at just building camaraderie with the guys. Everybody gets along. Guys come from different teams and just they love getting after it. They they understand the goals they have to do. So as a as a team, right, as a team of athletes, they they're working on the same principles and concepts, but each of them is working on their own individualized program throughout the off season. It was pretty intense. Daily they asked us what is the level of difficulty and it was definitely a nine today because uh, we knocked out core and did some upper body and traps and everything. So I'm always drenched and kind of tired after the workout. This is day by day and also getting ready for the season because we're about to approach the season in 2022, so getting ready for the season for sure. Yeah, this is the spot. I've been going here since 2017. Jay Hood. Yeah, so this is my man. So I've been going here since, as you can see, I'll show you guys over there. It's a picture. I don't know if you saw it or that I signed when I was in Cedar Rapids in Lowe. We got to start here and then and get on that side. You got a picture for you to sign to put up a major league wall. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I said it was about time because I walked in and I was like, oh, I don't see my picture up, man. He's like, I got you. I was waiting for you to get here and then we're going to set it up and put you on the big league wall where you deserve to be. Jay Hood, that, that's a pretty big size, man. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you're gonna have to okay, to yeah, the, I see. You're going to go from that, then you're going to be on the wall out there on the outside, man. This is it, the big league wall. That's right. Sixty. Yes, sir. Love it. Thank you, brother. Thank you, man. Appreciate it's it. Official. I'm proud of you. Thank you, man. Yes, it is official. It is official. And you're the biggest one on there. So. Hey, hey. <laughs> now I got a little bit to it, fellas. Oh boy. <laughs> First day, just coming in, just hitting off the tee, getting some front toss, just getting that back in the back in the zone and. Just feeling relaxed, kind of thing, getting that timing back. That's the main thing right now. Two weeks, I've been waiting for about two weeks now. I want to make sure at least I'm legs I love how they got a camera out my first day. It's just amazing. First time hitting. On off season. kind of talk about for like this off season, like goals and everything, make sure I stay in my legs and keep that, that bad angle, like just continue you working up the middle type thing. I think he gave me a few nuggets. Not Miggy definitely just, as far as like pulling, he, you know, Miggy does not pull the ball at all. So more so just saying like, hey, stay outside, like just think opposite field, because then you'll stay on the off speed. You know what I mean? So kind of that's what, and I find myself like really generating a lot of power to the opposite field and being able to stay on certain pitches and keeping the ball fair. You know what I'm saying? So that's what he's big on. Like, I mean, he literally swinging that. The T's like, not the T, but like when he's doing front toss, it'll be inside, he's like inside out every time. So he's like, all right, throw it inside. And I'm really trying to hit a line drive. So for him, righty, second base, you know what I mean? I'm good. Stay away or? Yeah, stay, stay middle, middle on the way. Only the inside. And then get that area locked down. Candelario too. I want it now and I ain't never gonna back down. I want it now and I ain't never gonna back down. Candelario's big on keeping your head down and really staying short. You know what I mean? So like he doesn't really lift off at all. Like BP, he's like, I want you to, he plays third base, Jay Candelario. He's like, I want you literally to hit line drives right at me. So I make sure you're staying short 
and like to the ball. That's like for guys. Like, I think at that time we were probably playing like Garrett Cole facing Garrett Cole, somebody with high carry. So that kind of like teaches me like, all right, stay down on the ball and through and not get too big. You know what I'm saying? Whoa! You're too big. My setup is just making sure like I'm balanced. So when you see me do it like that, just make sure I'm staying balanced before I hit. Make sure I'm not leaning over too much, not leaning too far back. So when I do that, I just kind of tell myself to stay balanced, stay in my legs. I kind of do that, so it's kind of like that routine. This leg up is just kind of like that, that leg that I pick up with. It's easier for me to pick it up that way, it feels comfortable. Oh, yeah. you know, I'll just take two days off and like, try to figure out how to swing again. <laughs> Yeah, it changed a little bit just as far as my hands was lowering it a little bit, but for the most part, my swing has always been like that. Same time and same rhythm, kind of like short and sweet, simple. I try to make it too complex, just nice and easy. See the ball hit the ball. So if we saw like a video, like Little League video of a kill, it would be like generally the same swing? Like yeah, probably for the most part, but a little bit pull happy and trying to hit a bomb every swing and not have it really a plan when you go up to hit. Barbo taco. One more. <laughs> Thank you. It's a wrap, first day. Lord have mercy. Peace, we out. I'll see y'all next year, 2022.